In another long line of buffs and nerfs in the 42.0 update, one that I want to look at is to the Bomb Blitz. This is an underutilized tower that has been mostly buffed this update, but also nerfed. I'll just go ahead and show you the patch notes on screen so you can decide for yourself. But basically, a massive price cut to start off $7,000, which makes it hella affordable. But here's the thing. Here are the stat changes that I got. Insane attack cooldown from 1.5 seconds to 1, but also half damage now, and it lost all the extra fortified damage that it apparently had. I completely forgot that it gave extra fortified, but that is now gone. And just for those who are curious, uh, the Bomb Blitz used to do extra 4 fortified damage, so that's right. Your damage now on fortified balloons on the Bomb Blitz has gone from 10 to 3. So uh, that's a massive nerf, right? Well, I'll explain later, but for now, uh, I want to try a 2 million pops challenge on Dark Path here. That's why I'm starting with three Dark Monkeys at the very back. However, I don't know if three Dark Monkeys is, is actually uh, a doable start here. At least in the very back. So let me just keep experimenting real quick. Nope. Let me see. Can I just set this on last to get maximum pierce and then back to first? Please. Nope. Don't tell me the solution is as simple as putting them all in a straight line. It is. Well, now you know. I guess I'm just going to do a fourth Dark Monkey and see how long... Uh, Putting them on the back will get me four, so uh, number four. How about for round nine? Just keeping this on last so that it um, pops the green balloons to uh, blues immediately, so they slow down a bit. And as soon as I can get the money for our first bomb shooter, I'm getting it down. Also, uh, as part of this update, take a look at all these sleepy, sleepy balloons. Pretty cool skin. Don't think they can fool us, though, uh, by pretending they're falling asleep so that we uh, let our defenses down. No, no. We all know the sleepy balloons are up to no good. Now! Uh, let me talk about the cross-pathing of the Bomb Blitz now, because before, before this patch, uh, 025 would always be the best on Bomb Blitz, because uh, uh, the amount of attack speed you got is better than the plus 1 damage on the Bomb Blitz, because already at 6 base, so what good is 7 compared to 6 if you lose out on so much attack speed, is that right? But now that shifted, because we are looking at a 3 to 4 damage boost with 205, which would mean a 33% increase, but I will have you know that 025 is still better than the end, because uh, it gives you more than 33% attack speed. So, that'll settle it. I think also just to guarantee my safety for the early game, just gonna rush a Cluster Bomb before even going for Striker Jones. If I can just handle this round, then we are good. But I think we probably have to get like a 5th Dark Monkey. Just for the pink, or no? Nope, 4 Dark Monkey is OP. It's kinda crazy how 3 are so sketch, like even to be round 6, but once you get that 4th one, your whole world changes. Now, this is going to make it just a little bit harder for the early game. Because obviously, uh... The cluster only does one damage, and recursive also one, so uh, 204 would be insane. Double damage, as opposed to the attack speed. And the, don't forget the pierce. All these calculations don't take into account the pierce, but I'm assuming that, once again, if we give enough bonuses, like we will with Striker especially, I think I'll just go ahead and hide him like here, so that one's in range of the bomb shooter, so that uh, the bomb shooter benefits from the pierce. Also, how do we lose to round 19? Even with a cluster bomb, that be will lose me. Let's try on close, though. Maybe, uh, maybe a bomb a whiff that I didn't even notice. Because now I think it's much better, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll just go ahead and get O2. Uh, oh, right. Black balloons. Uh, uh, that's going to be a problem. Well, thank goodness we didn't spend all our money, right? Uh, I'm going to see if I can put, like, just something far back in the track. Like, maybe a boomerang? No, it's not shooting. Even though there's a tiny sliver there, it doesn't work. So, uh, oh, man, I guess I have to take the hit and put a tower in the front. Nothing I can do, right? Unfortunately, no. So, it'll have to be a boomerang here. Maybe I can Shinook it away in the end, but... That's obviously not very ideal. Now, if I had Striker level 5 in time, then that would have been nice and not have to get the Boomer, but that Black Loon comes in way too early. Also for camos, we'll just do a 002 dart for now. And hopefully build Camo Village by the next time it comes in. Well, this 013 cluster is holding pretty well, so I'm going to remove this so that I can place a village here. And I will have enough money to afford the Raider Scanner. Is that right? Perfect. That's why I didn't buy 023. I was scared the money wasn't there, so... Good thing I held on, but now I'll go ahead and upgrade. Also, the more I think about it, the more I just want to go for the Shinook to move the Boomer out of the way, because uh, if you remember, we're going to change so that every tower gets extra pierce in range, so that would include the Boomerang too. I'm not worried about, like, this thing getting too many pops, so that we don't get too many pops on the uh, Bomb Blitz. Uh, just for those who are unaware of the Too Many Pops Challenge, you're allowed 42,000 pops to spare, because Chimps Mode, there are about 2.04 million uh, total pops from the 100 rounds. And that's why the two million pops is such an epic challenge, and something that Ninja Kibi didn't even intend. In fact, uh, if you saw those achievements, the two mega pops achievement in-game, they only ended that after it was like a widespread community thing. 
It was just a challenge that somebody started in like 2019 and then it started catching on because it was just so conveniently a perfect amount of pops that, so that they would still be a challenge for uh, a lot of towers to uh, get. But uh, while also not making it too restricting, if you know what I mean. So for round 40 here, let's just get a jungle drums and see how much damage this can do. Is it enough? Do Or do we need... You know, I'll just use a stun here. What good is two damage? It's all good. As you see, easy. Anyway, support Shinoki is a wise choice here too, because not only can I move the boomerang out of the way, but I think if I want to out buff the bomb without the out uh, hitting range, this would be a good spot. Here, obviously, like it gets a prime uh, out position to do maximum damage. Uh, also, I'm just trying to see. If I don't use Striker's ability, uh, that's not good. It looks like right now I am required to use it just to beat any Moab, so... Uh, I'm only 10k away from the Bob Blitz, but I think I just need to add something else. Would I just try primary training, see what that that, that that does? I was reluctant on it because I know that primary training only gives you a range and pierce, which I feel like the bomb is already healthy in having. But I guess the range is huge. It's really just the most right now, though. If I handle it just fine, we can afford Bomb Blitz. And that 7k like price difference is really going to matter. I think I'll just use a stun here. But yeah, it would have been 37.8k on hard mode previously, which would mean I couldn't afford this until, like, round C3, but now I... It's only, like, three rounds away, I think. Just trying to see, though, it's so sketchy. With no Alk. I think I'll use a stun here. Oops, I did it when they popped the Ceram, so that's fine. Alright, bad news this round. Even if I do use a stun, 54 is too sketch. Unfortunate. Here's what I'll add, then. Not damage, but I think it'll help. Just a simple mob glue. Rip my wallet, but this should stall long enough that... We should clear the insides, right? Uh, actually, still sketchy. If you see something get through to the darts. It's not good, but... I believe. It's enough to make a difference, right? We're only $2,000 now. Off, and yep, I haven't used any biker ability. And we are holding steady. And just like that, round 58 bomb blitz. Here we go, guys. Take a look at this hypersonic 025 go to work. Because while the patch note said the, the bomb blitz uh, is now shooting at 1 per second... Don't forget, that doesn't include the uh, taxi buffs, which now make it 0.55. Add jungle drums and striker, and we're looking at uh, over two shots per second on this guy. Much weaker shots, especially against fortifieds, but still. I think now is a good time to uh, crunch the math, though, and tell you guys, like, is this a nerf because the insane fortified nerf or buff? In my opinion, still a buff. I've explained this before, but I'll explain it one more time, but before that, yeah, take a look at that, how long it took to beat the fortifieds there. But if we give it more damage buffs, then we can counteract uh, that massive minus 7 fortified. Because right now, 3 to 10 is obviously, like, well, 3 times less damage to fortifieds. So, so no way can 50% attack speed uh, recuperate that amount. But say we give Alk buff, which is plus 2 if we count, like, the uh, AMD damage to Moabs. And we count the Glue Storm, which I think is a good synergy now with Bomb Blitz. That would give us an extra plus 2 damage, meaning our 3 damage is now 7 damage, whereas before, it would be 14 fortified. Okay, I guess if I do the math, it's still better against fortifieds, but still. If we do the math against plain normal balloons, then that would be 7 to 10, which the is not 50% extra damage, so I'd take that. Better against normal balloons, but worse against fortifieds. Although the one part where I could say it is definitively a nerf is uh, with Striker's level 10 ability, or level 20, level 20 ability, that doubles the damage, the base damage of the Bomb Shooter, so doubling a base damage of 10 fortified is nutty and you can't compare anymore. So rip that, I guess in this case I would describe it more as a rework rather than a straight up buff, that's what I should have uh, described to start. Anyways, what's next after this? Well, first off, let's get the p ring out of the way, and I think I'll just do what I said. Let's go for Glue Storm. Doesn't really matter where I place it, but I hope this spot uh, is able to still hit the Super Srams. I know the Boomerang didn't hit it earlier, but I believe. This is great, though. 3 to 5 damage now on the Bomb, bomb Blitz, so a 66% extra damage buff. Who doesn't love to see it? It does not look like it's going to hit Ceramics, right? Nope, judging by this right now, although I know they are glued, but it doesn't seem to be attacking at all. That's fine. I don't expect Ceramics to get uber far. Actually, I lied. Oh, boy. That's not good. I really should have put the, uh, um, Blue Storm Storm Ross. But, hey, hey, here's where the, uh, the, uh, Shinook comes to clutch. Not only in, uh, like, moving our towers around, but also uh, giving zero dollars and blowing back the uh, Ceramics are slow. So that Bomb Blitz gets a second chance. Anyways, as I said, I moved, uh, Biker around so that I can now put the Alk here. It's still gonna shoot, but I don't really mind 
all too much. Should be a nice and fat, I don't know, bonus percent damage. I think we're all truly here to see the hypersonic bomb, though, so let's get some real damage buffs. Or attack speed buffs, rather. Overclock coming right up. I don't know if the money's there for another call arms. I think, I think there is, but it'd be a little bit tight in affording other stuff. Still gonna go for it, though, as you see here with overclock. How many shots per second is that? Like, three to four? Absolutely nutty. If anything, faster attack speed just makes everything look cooler, rather than... Even though, like, it doesn't do as much damage. I'm still having a nice and fine time. Like, even though Fortifieds are uh, definitely... Uh, you can definitely feel the impact. Still all good. How about for round 92 here? Lots of balloon insides. I feel like might be getting Pierce Cap, but no, we're good, we're good. Max level on Circuit now, so I could always use level 20 to bail me out if a round's hard. Here we go. Can we handle DDT just fine? Yes. With Rel Rel Relentless, anything is possible. And Call to Arms is global, so I don't really care too much about where I put it. I'm just gonna put it over here. You know, kind of shocking that I did not go for a discount village at all in a Chimstone, even though I went for multiple villages. Am I really the real ISAB if I am not doing that? Also, holy crap, what just happened on round 94 there? Well, I guess we have to use level, tw level 20. Damn, this was even against non-fortified balloons. What happened? I'll just use it now. And now we can see... Uh, well, an easy 94 kill. With that double damage and double pierce, which really helps out. I do see one downside, though, with the extra attack speed. The alpha of duration is not full on my bomblets. Can I see exactly how much it is? Well, if I take a look here... It looks like it's only active... Oh, is that, what, half the time? Oh, yeah, that's not, uh... Super amazing, but... It's alright. We have a lot of other buffs to help us out, so... Here's the call to arms. Uh, if I could get away with not using it this round... Or rather, not using level 20, save for 98... That'd be amazing. And indeed, it is amazing. Let's go ahead and blast off the uh, call to arms to show you now. This is the fastest uh, bomb shooter I'm going to get this game. Pretty awesome sight to behold, isn't it? Now, unfortunately, uh, we're gonna lose some taxi buffs now for the worst possible time. Because I kind of need the damage for the ZMGs here, but that's fine. Also, look at me being so reckless with the Alchemist or the Pop Stolen. 5,000 already in this Alchemist in 10 rounds. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Striker ability here. Yep. Because Fortifieds are scary and they are getting very far. And here lies the toughest round, or is that actually round 99? I think 99 would be scarier because uh, uh, DDT is. They're fortified, and they're fast, so I don't know. I'll try to save level 20 this round if I can. Maybe only get away with uh, called arms, like here. Let's see if this can hopefully beat all the ZMGs before it times out. Otherwise, we're in some trouble. I don't want to use Strike because it would, it would get like 5,000 pops for that one ability. Oh, I see stuff leaking. Hoping it's like enough that the Chinook can handle it, right? Or is that too many balloons? Oh, I think it's good. I think it's good. We were saved. I also should have moved some of these Stormagies away so they don't get pops, but it's fine. We now have a 20k spare. Let's just see if I need level 20. I do, right? Yep. Relentless is nice, but it doesn't stun nearly enough. This sucks, though, because now I can't use her for around 100, but oh well. We can use a lot of other stuff if we need to, but this will do. Nice. Now we just need to do 37,000 damage to the bad with this guy. And once again, before I add anything else, I will just use the raw power of the Bomb Blitz to see how much damage it would do. We'll add in Brutaman 2 over here. Just because why not? How are we doing though? Uh, well, Verdict, uh, still not great, but it could be worse. We got about 62 thirds of the damage on the bad through, which means I probably got to just add like, I don't know, 10k extra damage. And I suppose for that, just a Spike Storm will do. How much does this do over here? Uh, more than 10,000, but that's fine, right? 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, that's still fine, so long as we uh, don't die DTs here. It'll blow any minute now. And please pop. I'll use a stun here. Blue Storm again. And now we just wait. 15,000 going out. There's still one more loop, right? For the ZMDs. Nice, okay. I will wait for, for them to be BFBs before I use the Strike ability like this. And I don't have any abilities, like, on cooldown, or up, but that's fine. One Zebra got through, but we had the other chaps to clean up, and GG. 14,000 pops over the limit of the Bomb Blitz. Overall, fairly easy run, I guess. But this is more of a showcase run to show you uh, how the new Bomb Blitz rework is. What are your thoughts on it, personally? I don't know. It's a lateral move, but I'm liking the fact that it's a lot cheaper and affordable now. That is all.
click here if you want to see more footage of the 42.0 update. And of course, stay tuned for more coverage. See ya.